What's up world? This is your boy Clay D and I'm here to bring you another episode, the fourth episode of Struggle and Overcome. In this episode, I would like to talk to you guys about failure. A lot of people fear failure. That is the wrong mindset to have. Successful people embrace failure. Gary Vaynerchuk always says that you know, he likes failure because it's a challenge. Failure to some people is an endpoint, while failure to successful people is just an acknowledgement of where you lack so that you can better yourself in that particular area. Growing up, and even to this day, I've faced an enormous amount of failure. I'll give you an example. When I was young, I decided I wanted to run track and a cool thing in the track world back then was to be a sprinter so I wanted so badly to be a sprinter I wanted to be cool I wanted to be just like everyone else I wanted to have the girls the fame and the glory and the speed I wanted to be great I started running and I realized I wasn't as good as I thought I would have been I wasn't the, the fastest but I wasn't the slowest but I was right there in the middle and it wasn't really doing anything for me until I realized one day when my coach asked me to run the 800 meter which is a, a mid distance that I was great at a distance run out of the blue they told me to jump on a 4 by 18 and I ran my two laps in 2 minutes and 27 seconds. As a 12 year old, I literally blew everyone away, including myself, because I realized I wasn't what was cool. I failed at sprinting. I understood that I belong into the world of distance as a runner. I failed, but as I failed, I accomplished a task. I acknowledged where I belong in the world of track and I learned that through failure. A couple years later, I was introduced to a company called Stage 2000 out in Backwards, Louisiana. I drove there once a week, be prepared to go to an expo in Dallas. It's called Mike Beatty's Model and Talent Expo. After all this training that I did with my coach, Stage 2000, when we got to the actual expo, I found out that he didn't prepare me for anything that I needed to know, and I ended up blowing the whole thing. I ended up taking first place in the co-reading competition, and I also took third place in the swimsuit competition. But as far as achieving the goal of having someone recruit me or look forward to seeing me within their main major talent market agency, I failed. But after the failure, I gained a connection with LA Entertainment, which was a sister company, right? They saw what was done to me. They took me in and they made me better, okay? They got me a scholarship to come back to the same Model Talent Expo three months later. I went there, I was fully prepared this time. I had photos, I had a portfolio. I took first place in the Model Talent competition. I took third place again in the swimsuit competition. But this time, I was also picked up by a company called Funny Faces. They wanted me to come to New York for two months so that they can represent me as their client. And I was extremely grateful. I would have never gotten to that point if I hadn't failed stage 2000. Failure is only a tool of measurement, all right? It does not define how good you are. Warren Buffett stated that he would not go into business with somebody that had failed in their own particular business at least twice. See, successful people know what it takes to become a successful person. And it's not necessarily the success that defines a person, it's the failure that they go through and how they react and how they recompose themselves is what define them. Success is a place in the mind where we are all the same. Each person's level, each person's idea of what success is, is different. But once you get there, you've achieved it. So what makes us different are the failures that we encounter. Failure molds us, it creates us, it shows us who we really are. It shows us whether or not have what it takes to get to where we want to go, to be successful, to become a businessman, an entrepreneur, an actor, or a pro athlete. Failure is what dictates us because you can get hit so hard and not get back up. And the difference between a successful person and a failure per se, or a successful person and a non-achiever is when or how you get back up, what course of action you take once you get back up. We are defined by failure and the only way you can truly fail is if you stop trying. I don't care what it is that you're battling, what it is that you're facing, what it is that you're going through. Failure is never an option. To stop, to quit is never an option. There's no finish line in this journey to our success in this journey to our goal to a journey to our happiness there is no finish line so whether it is you're going through a sickness you're battling cancer you're going through depression or you're just trying to, to lose weight the only way to make it to your final destination in that particular goal is to keep pushing through the failures is to keep pushing through the obstacles, the setbacks, the trials, the tribulation. The only way to make it to where you're trying to go is to not quit because there is no finish line. The life you want to live must be created. If you want it, it's yours. Take it. Is that simple?